and welcome to HealthyHouseplants.com, where we teach you all about gardening in the great indoors. If you'd like to support our show, please use our Amazon affiliate link below. Today, I'm going to show you a little trick I use to bring all of the uh, colors together in a room with plants. This is a wallpaper actually around this pot here and you can see it's very decorative, very pretty. It works really well for, for African violets and actually I'll even turn the pink side out when I have pink violets in here displayed and can turn it around to the purple there when they have the purple purple displayed which is really really nice so you can do it with any type of wallpaper i actually have this border in my front room which i have in my annual houseplant tour video for 2022 and this uh it's 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 up at the up at the ceiling level in that room with this wallpaper and so I am going to be making some more of these beauties here to go along with uh, some of the plants and I have a lot of African violets in that room as well so there's pinks and blues in here and a little bit of purpley which is in that room so you can do a whole bunch with these uh, with this sort of thing. So for instance, here's something, there's a white, this is a catch pot where you could put the plants inside of it. You can do something along there. Uh, I had cut this because I wanted to cut it in half because it was a little too long for a lot of these. So you might, um, what I might do is cut off the border and put it up a little bit to fit evenly on one of these pots. This one actually works here. So I I'm kind of playing around here with this one piece, this smaller piece to see what works. You can do a, a big piece all the way around and you will have a seam at one point, but if you work it well with the design, as you can see on this one, you really don't notice the seam very much. There's taller ones too, like this pot. So even if I got one that was the same height, which would be cool. So you have to kind of work a little bit with the, the, the roundness of the pot. You may have to cut a few different seams and put them together because of that, depending. You can really make like ugly pots like this one look a whole lot better very quickly. Even if you were to put just the border up top, this one, the color there is not too great, but say you had a different color, a blue or something, you could do that. But I'll probably just completely cover this one. Uh, and as you can see, it will look a lot better when I'm done and then I'll have to cut it at the bottom and taper it. This glue I often use, the E6000, uh, yeah, E6000, uh, it, it does work for a lot of craft projects. It, it, it binds to most plastics, some, some it doesn't, so you have to kind of work around, work on that, but find one that would go on to a lot of times plastic or metal when you're doing this sort of thing for the, these outer pots. It, these are more, this is more used for the catch pot. So you can see this I have in here, and this is the outer. Uh, you could actually plant directly in them, but it, then you tend to get, when you're repotting, tend to get the, this a little too, too stained up. So that's usually what I do with these guys here. Uh, this one though, with the up holes, I will just do the whole thing and it will be a regular pot. Um, so it just depends what you're doing. I have this inner sleeve plastic in here to keep things in and when it actually works really well to water African vines because I like to water them from the bottom. So I filled this up, it gets watered, empty this, and then put it back in this, which has the holes. If I didn't have that, it would go right through. So you could do that too, as long as you're careful and you have this on a, on a tray of some sort when you water. So that is about it. You want to be careful on your measuring and of course, and try to be as accurate as close as possible. When you cut, use some sharp scissors and use a glue that would, that is going to bind to the wallpaper and to the pot itself. You could also try, there's some wallpaper paste and things that may work as well. I haven't tried those to be honest, but it's worth a try too, depending on where you're, what sort of a surface you are uh, trying to bind to. So there you go for making your house plants even prettier than they already are and bringing the whole scheme, your whole design scheme together with your plants and your accessories in your home, wall coverings, uh, and you could even use uh, uh, material, say that was a material that's in, 
in your upholstery fabric, things like that. Those are all other things that you could also give a try to and to bring everything together really nicely in the design because I always like to make the, as I mentioned in some of my videos, especially my houseplant tours, make vignettes and, 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 and design it and, and bring, um, bring all the uh, home elements together to make your plants shine. Thank you for stopping by today. Please leave any comments about any indoor gardening tutorials you'd like to see. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. And please check the bell if you'd like to be notified when new videos are released.